Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Airtable to HubSpot. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at Airtable.com and the fastest way actually to integration is just using your search engine in uh, Google Chrome and go Airtable.com slash integrations. Once we are here, we will try and find uh, uh, we will try and find HubSpot. If you won't be able to find it, we can use the two options that we can use to make this integration work. First of which is automate.io. I will leave uh, the link in the description below the video. Uh, when we are at, at uh, automate.io, we want to go to the top corner of our screen and hover over integrations. Once we are here, we want to go and slide to see all categories. From all of these options, we want to type in our first, uh, first app we want to integrate, which is Airtable. In search results, we, we see Airtable. Now we have to pick the second one. In our case, it's HubSpot. We click on HubSpot and as you can see there are most popular integration already pre-made for us. If we can't pick from any of those, we can slide it down and uh, we can create our own integration through Automate. Uh, since we want to start with uh, Airtable as our first app, uh, let's go and pick from one of the new record or updated record. Let's go with the new record and the second one. Uh, will be obviously HubSpot. So let's go with the first one as well and hit try it now. Once you hit the try it now, it will redirect you and you will have to log in to automate. So you just have to have to create an account and yeah, your integration is done. The second option we have is Zapier.com. We have to create an account here. And once we do that, we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a Zap. Now we can name our app like uh, Airtable to HubSpot, for example. And uh, we are about to experience the same process that we already did at uh, Automate. First app is Airtable. We click on Airtable. We have to choose an event, so one of these three. Continue. Now we have to. Uh, log in to the account that we already logged in to. Continue. Uh, the, uh, this base you already is basically the project inside of Airtable. So this is the basic one that you get after creating an uh, creating an account. But if you're experienced in Airtable, probably uh, probably you have a couple of those going for you, and you just have to pick the right one. Now continue. And now you can test your trigger. Second action involves the second application we are going to use, which is HubSpot. We click on HubSpot. We also have to create an event from a ton of events that HubSpot is providing. But let's go with the, with the first one, let's say. Create a deal. We go with continue. And now we just have to sign into HubSpot. That's about it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.